hi to all and thanks for watching. First we will create particles from a curve. Uh, to start this you need to create a circle. Um, and adjust the number of points with which you can uh, work later. Uh, we need higher number of points in order to get uh, better uh, noises and better uh, color projections. Uh, then create um, attribute noise. Uh, this one will be used to uh, add a noise to the points and their location. Make sure you zero position at the noise so we don't have the movement of the curve. And adjust the uh, size of the elements and uh, the noise uh, as your preference. Uh, then make another noise. This one will be for used for uh, emission. Um, you can use only the uh, attribute the CD, that means uh, color, and use it by only by X. In this case, it's only for the R or the red color, and adjust the noise as you want. You can also animate this noise. After this, create a pop network. Inside the pop network, you can adjust uh, the settings and the emission and use the emission attribute that we created. Uh, this emission attribute will allow to, for the points to be created only where we uh, saw the red color. Uh, after this, create some pop force which will give the particle some initial force. Uh, adjust the uh, amplitude of the uh, of this, this force and also you can uh, pu put a pop track force which will add air resistance to the points and make them more stable. Uh, you can also limit the sourcing of the points um, by filling it the gap with the dollar FF less than uh, the frame number that you want um, until which you want to be generated. Uh, rename your notes in order to get more clarified structure and to know what you've been using. You can also see the guides with the red uh, to see how large is the noise, see how uh, large are the frequencies, the amplitude, and to adjust it. Uh, now we will add some movement to the uh, circle. Uh, you can use, uh, instead of keyframing, you can use the um, dollar time uh, attribute uh, that will give um, as along the time to get some movement uh, throughout the z-axis. And uh, I will adjust a little bit just the emission noise because I want to uh, have more particles generated from uh, more places. Now that I have all of that, Yeah, 
yeah i think somewhere around here it's it's good um i'm switching the marker on and off just to see um, how much emission i have and to see the color all the time make sure you put the null node and name it with out it's easier to track it um, i always make it black and round it's easier for me to visually to, to see where the outputs are uh, with c you can turn on the um, color menu from which you can pick a point and with uh, z you can use it uh, to change the shape of the notes uh, additionally we will put um, a sphere which we will use as a collision body the sphere will have the same movement as the uh, circle i copy the parameter the movement of the z-axis of the circle and edit it the same movement to the sphere as paste reference parameter and um, to get this collision uh, working you need to place a static uh, object inside the pop network the static objects is always uh, merge at the bottom of the network and it's always uh, connected on the left side so it's calculated first Uh, I added some mountain uh, on the sphere so that I can have some movement on it and also if you don't want to see the static object because uh, pop network exports everything the collision body and the um, uh, particles itself so if you don't want to see both of them just uh, type the pop object inside the field and you will get the export only of uh, the particles. Make sure you rename everything and group right. Make it visually more uh, appealing. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.